Hey everybody, Susan Mershon here, The Techie Mentor. Just a big thank you for listening to this podcast, the Virtual Assistant Tips, Tricks, and Advice channel where I share all things Virtual Assistant every week with no fluff, just the stuff that gets results. Hello my friends, welcome to this week's episode. Today's topic is follow up. So what I want to talk to you about today is your follow-up process. What does it look like? Is it automated? Is it rinse and repeat? How often do you do it? And what I mean by follow-up is, as it sounds, following up with either prospective clients that maybe you've talked to on the phone and they have yet to make a decision on whether they want to move forward with you or not, or maybe you've sent somebody a service proposal for a project or a package or some other type of service and you've yet to hear back from them. So I can tell you this, I got more clients because I consistently followed up with people. I'm a project manager, years in corporate America, and one of the things they teach you as a project manager is follow up, follow up, follow up. Become part of what we call the pester police. And when I started my business, I kept that same mindset going into following up with, again, proposals or or prospective clients. And I know a lot of people, have talked to me about, well, you know, don't you think you're being, you know, bothersome or that you're, you know, pestering these clients? And I'm I'm like, yes. But on the flip side of that, clients are extremely busy and sometimes things fall through the holes and they forget that they have these outstanding things that they need to do because they are overwhelmed. So if you look at it through that lens, instead of thinking that you're bothering somebody, Keep it simple and just reach out and ask for some type of decision. So I'll share my follow-up process. So first off, um, when I talk to somebody, I would let them know that I will follow up with them. So when I ended a call with somebody who I was waiting for a decision from, I would let them know that I would follow up. So that's my action item. Same thing with proposal. So in writing or the email that I would send to a client or a prospective client with a proposal, I'd let them know, hey, I'm going to follow up with you. And then that's what I do. And I created just a simple email template. I'm not going to call them on the phone. I'm not a big phone person anyways. I'm just going to send them an email. And what I'm going to do is templatize it, which means it's the same email that I use for anybody I'm following up with because it's very, very simple. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to automate it and you can automate it a couple different ways. I mean you can just put something on your calendar and send it or there are tools that you can actually attach to Outlook and Gmail where you can schedule um, your emails into the future and that would allow you to schedule so many emails and that way you don't have to remember to do so. The only thing is is if you schedule several out you would need to cancel any if the client comes back and says you know yes or no you'd need to remove those. So how often do I follow up? I follow up every three days, every three business days. And I know that may sound like a lot. Um, And if I feel like I need to give them a little more space, then I'll do it every five days. But remember, they came to you because they have a problem that needs solving. And by being persistent is not a bad thing. It shows them that you're organized, that you are following up with them and letting them know, hey, I am here to help you. I just need a decision on, on your end so we can get going. And I can tell you, as I already mentioned, I got more clients because I was the only person that that followed up more than once or twice. And clients would always say, oh my God, thank you, because I had so much going on, I, I just forgot that I needed to get back to you, and and you kept following up with me, and then I finally said, you know what, this person is on the ball, she knows what's going on, I'm going to reach out to her and we're going to work together. So following up can be a benefit to you, not something that's going to hinder you in getting a client. So keep it simple. Templatize it. Make it just a simple email that basically says something to this fact. This is basically what mine says. Um, Hi, you know, whatever their name is. Hi, Mary. Um, I'm just following up with you to see if you've made a decision about working together. Please let me know. Um, Drop me an email at your convenience. That's all it says. And if I sent like three or four of those and I did not get a response, then I would tweak it a little bit to say something to the effect of, hey, can you let me know if you've you know, made a decision? Either way, that way I am not going to continue to pester you. I'm just looking for a decision. And a lot of times people appreciate that because they're like, oh, I forgot to send you to tell you I made a decision. I'm going to go a different direction. I just want that closure. So follow up, follow up, follow up. 
do not think that you are bothering somebody. I, in fact, appreciate when people follow up with me because I have so much going on. And your prospective clients are in the same boat. So don't take it personally. Look at it through the lens of you're trying to help this prospective client by taking whatever it is they want to hire you for off their plate. But you're also showing them that you're organized and that you are persistent and you will follow up with people and get what you need. So to summarize, what you want to do is keep it simple. You want to templatize it. You want to automate it. And you want to either put a note on your calendar, or use some kind of fun techie tool, um, and schedule it out in the future. And then after you've sent, you know, five or six, and you can just feel this out as you go along, maybe tweak your response if you haven't heard back from them, and just letting them know you want an answer. Um, that's all you're looking for. Yes, no, maybe so, okay? So I hope this has helped you with follow-up. I know I've talked to a lot of my own clients that are like, oh, I follow up once or twice and then I stop because I don't want to bother them. Flip your mindset and think, no, you are helping them by continuing to follow up and you are the one who are going to get the clients because everybody else gives up. Okay, so I hope you found this helpful. Um, thanks for listening. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.